here it is Friday afternoon after work all packed up and I'm off to head to Ohio for my first solo hunting trip for three days time to get on the road I made it it's been raining off and on because I've been trying to set up camp here but finally I have camp set up got the bike in the back of the truck I got the tent the canopy over top of it got all my hunting gear in the back of the truck ready to go got the cook stove table cooler look in there it is my bed on a cot and a table and there's the kicker a heater yeah baby okay time to go to bed get up get in the woods just getting ready to go to bed had to show you guys neighbor's cool setup there it is that's pretty sweet man night boys so here it is I'm at the uh, parking area for the public land. I'm going to be hunting this morning. Uh, got camp all set up last night. Got a good night's sleep. Got up, took a no-scent shower. And uh, here I am going ahead, getting dressed. I'm uh, going to put everything on my back, sticks, and hang-on stand. I'm going to walk about six-tenths of a mile out to the place I'm going to sit this morning. was funny I just had a guy walk up on me crossbow hunting got about 80 yards away dropped his pants grabbed the toilet paper took a crap <laughs> when you gotta go you gotta go public land you never know what you're gonna see interesting morning my first morning out in Ohio uh, got up early enough um, got away from the truck uh, got myself caught up in a little bit of green briar and uh, as I was walking out of the green briar I realized that I had had my quiver and arrows uh, come off of my bow so I had to drop my stuff and it took me about 20 minutes to go back and find that uh, finally got to where I wanted to be and I decided to wait until daylight so I could pick out the right tree to sit on um, got in a nice tree that had a couple of trails uh, coming to it. Perfect wind coming out of a, a clear cut and some farmer's fields back into some bedding. And I saw one doe and I saw another hunter take a crap in the woods. <laughs> hey, you can't make this stuff up, man. It's too funny sometimes. Public land. Did see a couple of scrapes on the way out and now I'm heading out to uh, do a bunch of scouting today, at least one if not two spots to figure out where I'm going to sit this evening and have a definite spot marked out of where I'm going to hunt tomorrow morning. So I'm off to my first scout today. Just locked my bike up to a tree after biking about a mile and three tenths in and uh, all these things I saw that were fields I knew were going to be CRP man they are super thick but there's all these woods edges in between and there's a river on one side of me and a swamp on the other so I'm going to do about two three hours of scouting here and see if I can find any decent deer trails any fresh scrapes and uh, 
See if I can get on a place to hunt tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm on my way back out after scouting for the day. Got quite a bit done. Real happy with three or four spots that I found that I think would be great when we come back the weekend before Halloween. Uh, left a cell cam out there, get a little bit of intel over the next three and a half weeks before we come back. And tonight I'm walking on to a piece to see if I can find a place to sit up against some bean fields or corn fields with a west wind. one deer today but I learned a lot about the property got a good idea where I'm gonna sit tomorrow morning and tomorrow night and I've got three or four good spots for Blake and I when we come back in October so hopefully tomorrow middle of the day I can scout and find a couple more spots so that when Blake and I come back we're ready to go who knows maybe I'll luck into a buck tomorrow morning or tomorrow night okay time to head back to camp back at camp and I got stuff charging Got the heater on, just got the stove going, a little pasta and meat sauce. I'm going to take a shower and then review the day and go to bed. Second morning in Ohio. Got a scrape that I'm going to go sit on top of this morning that I know is super fresh from yesterday morning. I know that because it had rained the night before. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a little more scouting during the day today, and then I got a bean field that I'm gonna go sit over tonight. So, excited to go ahead and have a second day of Ohio. Hopefully I see a bit more deer than what I saw yesterday. sitting over and definitely using it at night and that's a decent track in there for sure oh, there's the beech tree I was sitting in right there nice trail right along the edge of this swamp no deer this morning though no. I must still be using this at night time Morning hunt, I didn't see any deer, but the scrape that I was hunting over was hammered last night. So the cell camera I put up yesterday, I went and moved and uh, put that cell cam up over that scrape to leave for the next three weeks. Uh, I'm going ahead and uh, doing another scout, probably about three miles right here as far as I can get, and uh, see if I can find another couple of solid places for Blake and I to come back and hunt in October. Kept seeing these places where I thought they were deer crossings, and I'd see a couple of tracks couldn't figure it out I got it figured out today it's beavers the other cool thing is I think there's otters in here too it's a clamshell right there it's amazing after spending an entire weekend here in Ohio scouting that I ran into three different hunters and all three of them told me the same thing that if I'm coming from out of state and I'm looking to come here and do some archery hunting that this probably is not the property that we should be focusing on. Uh, all three guys said that there's a lot of bird hunting that goes on on this property. Uh, there's a lot of raccoon hunting with dogs that goes on in this property and the deer are really spooked and pushed most of the year. Uh, guys that have hunted this area say that um, it's just really not one of their premier areas that they like to spend time Ohio. on. Ohio, Blake and I talked a bit and we decided we're gonna get together the next two weeks before we head to Ohio at the end of October. Definitely you scout because you try to find places you want to hunt and you try and find places you don't want to go back to. So we've got a couple places in mind. We've got a couple places we're not going to go to. So we'll sit down, look at some maps, and we'll be ready to go when we head to Ohio at the end of the month to hunt Halloween weekend. Here it is. I drive all the way to Ohio. And there's a deer in front of my house.
Morning folks, first morning in Ohio, getting ready to head out to hunt. Blake and I had a great night's sleep last night in our heated tent. Got about a mile, mile and a half drive back on this seasonal use road where I'm gonna find a place to park, and then hop down in and uh, get into the trees that Blake picked out for me last night. So I'm excited to see what the lay of the land looks like in this little stream valley I'm gonna be sitting in. I got in my tree stand this morning and it was deadly quiet. So I didn't want to do an interview. And ever since then I've been in deer. I had a doe first thing this morning run above me on the hill about 80 yards up. Then about 10 minutes later I had three bucks come down the hill to me but my wind was going up the hill. I expected an east wind but thought they were gonna come in the other way. I got video of two of the bucks I think. The third one was back ways. Um, then I had two deer chasing a doe and the doe came into me and the, the two doe the two other deer that I think were bucks ran across the creek and up so we'll see it's been a great morning still got some time we'll just sit here and see what happens most deer I saw this morning were running the side hill in between the fields and the creek bottom that I'm in gives me an idea that Maybe tomorrow I go ahead and uh, go up one of these little tributary creeks and uh, find a crossing trail and then follow that across and try to set up on the side hill on one of those heavy crossing trails. Well, that was a good hunt this morning. Saw seven deer, uh, two doe, three bucks. Had two other deer running through the woods. I saw legs, I didn't see what they were. Sounds like Blake's gonna come meet up with me. And uh, we're gonna try and do a little scouting here in the middle of the day. See if we can set up some spots to sit both this evening and tomorrow morning uh, based on what we find from our scout. 
So I'm heading back to the truck and change, and I'll meet up with Blake and we'll go from there. Good turn going up that hill, but got a log in the road to get most of the way out, and I'm only about three tenths of a mile away from the truck, so not bad. Okay, second year in Ohio, we got a plan. Yes, we do. We're ready to go. Saw seven deer this morning, three buck, and uh, all working about two thirds of the way up ridges coming out of fields, so we got a plan to go do some. Uh, little bit of scouting just to find some good uh, trails across some of these hills and we're going to sit down for the entire afternoon and evening and we're also going to find a spot uh, to sit tomorrow morning and mark that on Onyx so that we're ready to go in the dark in the morning. Yeah we you are. ready brother? Oh I'm ready for this. Let's go. I'm ready for this. Having the Dude. logging road to come in and out of definitely saved me a bit especially going in in the dark this morning. I had it marked from getting out of here last night, which was nice. Ooh. It's still right there. Yeah. It's right where I came in and out of. It's right where we're going. He's probably on that same trail. There he goes. Blake and I met up at the property I was at this morning and two of us talked and decided we were both gonna hunt this property tonight and uh, all day tomorrow. So we put packs on and uh, we went and slowly walked and scouted for probably about three hours, almost two miles. And I found a spot I think's got a lot of potential got three huge scrapes all together and there was fresh urine and poop in it um, during the day today it was still wet which was really cool so I'm walking back out right now I just put my set up and I'm gonna make sure that in the daylight I've got not only a way out of here tonight but a way in here in the morning there's just so much green briar they're trying to walk through this stuff at night it's just, it's not fun. Oh, only six tenths of a mile, but there's a lot of elevation change. I'm glad I left everything in there. Hopefully it's only one more time to bring that stuff out because I got a deer. Or it's Sunday morning. Because I got a deer, that's a better one. Okay, got a ton of water in me. I got to change of clothes so I'm not sweating. Backpack to bring stuff back out with me tonight and then tomorrow morning. So I'm heading back in now at six tenths of a mile. I'm going to get in there, I'm going to get set up, sit for the night, change my clothes before I come out, and do the exact reverse tomorrow morning. Wish me luck, man. Here we go. Ohio! Finally set up the first afternoon sit in Ohio. I did uh, quite a bit of walking today after seeing seven deer this morning. Uh, three small buck and one was really pretty cool. Six point with brow tines that were like six or seven inches long. It was pretty awesome pumped with the spot that I got here this evening. Great scrape that I have. It's been hammered this morning during the day. When I found it at 1.30 there was fresh urine and fresh poop in it. So it definitely was hit during the day. I got a set in here now that I'm going to keep overnight come back in here and sit in the morning. I got a cell cam on it that's hopefully going to send me live pictures overnight. It's supposed to be about 37, 38 degrees in the morning. So I'm hoping like this morning the deer were up moving for a couple hours. I hope they're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow morning. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky tonight before the sun goes down. My daughter's soccer team made the Section 4 soccer finals. So here I am in Ohio. But with technology today, I'm watching her game on YouTube while I'm sitting in a tree stand. Following Blake back to camp, both of us left our sticks and hang-on stands at the place we sat tonight. Blake had one buck come in late at night. He saw a coyote, I saw a coyote, and walking out, I about pooped myself. Walking along up this hill through this real thick stuff, got my headlamp on, and all of a sudden like 10 feet to my right, 
something stands up and eyes and this deer stood up like 10 feet from me and scared the absolute crap out of me but here we go back to camp i'm gonna make some dinner we're gonna relax and we're gonna make a game plan for tomorrow afternoon since we already know what we're doing in the morning going back to those same tree stands you ready buddy yeah, buddy. I'm fucking... we gotta do it we gotta do it right now man yeah One of the two of us this morning. Gonna get a buck. Yeah, I hope so. <clears throat> Fucking pack out a deer. That'd yeah. Nice. That would be freaking nice this morning, wouldn't it? It would be. It'd be well, we've done a lot of work for this for two years, and I'm at that point right now where I want to get a buck. Right. You know? doesn't have to be a monster, just a buck to make, yep. to kind of have all the work that we've done to kind of pay off here. Yes, sir. I just want to be able to say I got that buck in Ohio. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yep, for sure. We'll get it done. You know, once we get to like 10 o'clock or something, let's talk. Right. And then uh, we'll kind of text back and forth and make a plan, make a decision whether I'm going to leave my set there. Right. If I'm just going to bring out my hang on. Um, you know, if you're moving to somewhere else and right. uh, kind of figure out the rest of the day and this evening. Again, I don't think I'm going to hunt tonight. I'm probably either going to be at camp or I'm going to videotape you. So I just need to know whether I got to bring my hang on out. It's about 9.30, chilly morning this morning, but I did see some action. I had a buck about 8 o'clock uh, walk from my right where there's some fields uh, to the left out onto a point, and I assume he dropped down over that point. And then uh, about 9 o'clock, I hit two doe come on the left side of me up out of a draw over across the ridge and down the other side. In about 15 seconds after they went by, there was a nice buck that followed them looked like two and a half or three and a half year old eight point but it was tough to tell it was still quite a distance out there so i've seen some deer um just not as many as i thought and definitely none working across this ridge like i had hoped and coming to this scrape down below me so i'm gonna sit for another hour hour and a half and then uh, i gotta come up with a game plan for this afternoon and this evening and then uh, our last morning tomorrow morning Okay, brother, you ready? I am. Let's 
let's go do this. We're, oh, you got your bow. I was going to say, man, you're going in pretty slim. <laughs> I just got the GoPro. <laughs> That's it. I'm just, just the GoPro, nothing else. walking in without a bow. I got one. Last evening you hunting out in Ohio. So I'm gonna go sit with Blake tonight and uh, see if we can get him on a deer tonight. Wish us luck. Overall, it was really a pretty slow afternoon and evening. We hadn't seen any deer. Uh, the thermals began to go ahead and change as the sun set. And we began to have some of our wind blow down this valley. Just before dark, I went ahead and moved some of my equipment around a little bit. And it figures right then there must have been a deer, you know, 80, 90 yards below us. And she heard me. Uh, between the thermals flowing downhill and me making that noise, I kind of screwed up the hunt. Frustrated Blake and I kind of got down out of our stand grabbed our stuff uh, Headed back to camp took a shower and went out and ate some dinner and kind of reviewed the first couple of days in Ohio Last morning heading out in Ohio Exhausted after a grind in three days of hunting all day Sleeping in a tent <clears throat> cold weather being outside all day, but just had a doe run in front of me as we're coming in this Seasonal use road to this public land we're hunting so I'm hoping that's a good omen and uh, either me or Blake are going to be able to score on a buck this morning before we go back to camp, clean up, and head home. Camp is packed up. I'm on the way home. Should be home by about 4 o'clock. Uh, second year in Ohio. Uh, definitely saw a lot more deer this year. Uh, saw a lot more buck. Just didn't see a shooter. I definitely think if I end up doing Ohio again, it's going to be revolved around some farm country. Whether that's knocking on some doors or getting a lease. The public land stuff is really tough. It's a challenge. And to me right now, I just feel as though it takes away too much of my hunting that I could be doing at home in my neighbor's state and PA on just day hunts. Uh, definitely a great experience, especially doing it with my buddy Blake. Definitely got to rethink where I am for next year and years to come after that. And uh, I hope to be back to Ohio hunting again. Okay, guys, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya.